What's going on guys? So we are still out here at the Forest River Elkhart Dealer Show. We're going to take a look at this really interesting Rockwood RW Signature Series. Now this is pretty cool and this is a pretty interesting floor plan. This is a 2445 WS and it's got a lot of really great characteristics that I know a lot of people like. But we'll go over some of this here in a second. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating, relatively low, 9,815 pounds, has a 2,052 pound cargo capacity, rides on twin 4,300 pound axles, and uh, yeah, this thing is pretty well equipped. It's gonna have a lot of really great features too that you typically don't see on other fifth wheels, especially in this size, such as torsion axles, which is a really big one. But yeah, this has a very, very interesting floor plan. This has the Kurt turning point pin box up front, which essentially is a pin box that has a wedge in it right here. And once you put it in your fifth wheel hitch, you kind of lock it in place and then you allow it to rotate right here so you can turn tighter and you can use it with a much shorter bed truck than you might normally be able to and still get really good turning out of it. So that is really cool. But let's go take a look at that, that little uh, poster board that's on the door because I think you're gonna be surprised by some of the things they do with this unit. So first of all, let's talk about some of the construction perks. Complete Asdell wall construction, fully laminated walkable roof, a five eighths inch tongue and groove plywood floor, aluminum joists, six sided aluminum, frameless windows. So that one right here, this one right here, and this one right here, huge standouts. Aluminum bracing for the truss and a painted front cap. Um, relatively common, but it's still nice to know that they're doing it. Other things that are standard features, backup camera prep, pretty pretty common. 200 watt solar panel with a 1000 watt inverter and a 30 amp charge controller. That is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, Max Air fans with covers, auto leveling, turning point hitch, that's a, that's a good one, or turning point pin box, tire pressure monitoring system, Goodyear endurance tires, Dexter torsion axles. There are so many things that they put on these Rockwood units that just stand out and make them a lot different than other units that are typically in this size. But you pay for some of that because these are not what I would consider to be the most inexpensive units you can get. So you have an outside griddle mounted to the side along with a little cook station. That's mounted kind of high. That would be a little hard to reach unless you just can put your drink up there or something. All right, stepping inside. Check this thing out. This is a really cool floor plan. You got a dinette over here. You have your sofa or love seat, which converts into a bed right here. You have your Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator right here. And 12 volt refrigerators are quickly becoming the norm, whereas gas electric or residential were really the two options just a few years ago. But with the increase of solar panels on RVs, it's really given them the ability to give you a very functional 12 volt refrigerator as a replacement to gas electric. You got your TV and sound bar over here. You have your day-night roller shade. So this just doesn't have the blackout. They give you both the blackout shade as well as the screen. That's very nice. You're starting to see a lot of RVs that take this one off and only give you this. Now, during the daytime, this can come in extra handy, but at night, you're really gonna want that if you want real privacy. You got storage underneath. You can move this out of the way. You could even set this in front of the, the sofa if you wanna use that instead. Three burner gas cooktop with an oven below it. Stainless steel single basin farm style sink. Got your power port over there. And then you have a wireless charger right here. Nice residential microwave in here as well. A lot of nice cabinetry. And this is cool. Little spice rack that pulls out. You got more storage above the refrigerator and over there as well. Plus you have some storage here. And this is pretty deep. This isn't shallow storage. So they give you a lot of very functional storage in this unit, plus more there, three more drawers. Got a spot for a trash can, I thought. That's just an access panel. So I thought that's where they'd put the trash can, honestly. Got another storage here. Maybe it's right here. Put a small one, I suppose. Very cool. Then you got more cabinet storage up here as well. Very nice, let's head upstairs. So you got all your controls right here with the motion detector, that's cool, so it lights up whenever you walk by it. Thermostat control for both your ACs. You have your solar charge controller right here, which is a 30 amp solar charge controller. 
Looking here inside of the bathroom, you have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Good size shower, especially for an RV this size and this weight. Very nice. And you have your little undermount stainless steel single basin sink in here. Nice medicine cabinet. Additional storage. Very cool. Coming into the bedroom. Over here you have some of your wardrobe storage, which is in a small slide out, which pushes out that way. Queen size bed. Very nice nightstands, a lot of storage area on the side. Over here, you can see the extra room you have. More storage here, more hanging storage over there. And a lot of drawers right there as well. This is very nice. The light tones really stand out. It makes it feel very airy, nice and open as well. It's awesome. All right, let's go outside, check out the outside of this unit, see what it's all about. Okay, again, starting from the front, this is kind of cool. You rarely ever see slam latches on the front basement storage area of smaller RVs. It just doesn't happen. Nice thick baggage doors as well. All right here's going to be your propane. 30-pound can, one on each side. This does not have a drop frame, which isn't surprising considering its size. But it's got a really, really nice storage compartment down here with a 3-inch aluminum brace bath deck. Very nice. I like the fact that they give you a friction hinge, but then they also give you a hold right here to hold it in place on those windier days. It's very cool. You have your Moride step above steps, Goodyear Endurance tires, and they are torsion suspension, so you're not going to see leaf sprung or equalizers there. You have your griddle here again, and again, this thing is just really high. If I'd have to guess, I'm guessing it's about a little over four and a half feet off the ground. So yeah, this is going to be difficult for some people to reach, but if it's not for you, then it can come in handy at that height, I suppose. Water heater outside of your hot point refrigerator. Around back here, you have your four inch tubular bumper. This does have a hitch back here with a cover over it, two inch receiver, just designed for a luggage rack, cargo rack, something like that. It is prepped for a Furion wireless backup camera, all LED lighting as well. Coming around this side, gear driven rack and pinion slide back here, which is nice. Again, it does have auto leveling. That is really cool. Something, again, you wouldn't typically expect on this size and weighted trailer. This is a 50 amp connection back here because it has two ACs. Coming around this way, you have your low point drain, sewer connections, outside of your furnace. Nice thick baggage doors, dual slam latches. You have your Nautilus panel here. Very, very nice. And you have your other propane tank in here. In my opinion, this is absolutely something that you can tow with most three quarter ton trucks. Just keep in mind when this thing is fully loaded up, you're probably gonna have, you know, I'm gonna say probably about 16 to 1800 pounds worth of tongue weight being transferred to the back of your vehicle or pin weight being transferred to the back of your truck. That plus people and all the other stuff, you're probably gonna be around 2,000 pounds to 2,500 pounds worth of total payload on a three quarter ton truck. So a single rear wheel, one ton truck would probably be ideal, but you could get away with some of your higher payload capacity, three quarter ton diesel trucks. So just something to keep in mind. But yeah, this is a very, very cool RV. Nice and compact, very short in length, but it's still a little bit high. So you wanna be careful from a height perspective where you take it, but you'd be able to squeeze this into a lot of parks that you couldn't fit your larger fifth wheels into. And that's one of the reasons why Rockwood builds what they build the way they build it. They want you to have the experience of a nice, luxurious, well-built RV, but possibly in a shorter package, a more compact package to get you to the places that you can't fit the larger RVs that you might typically look at because of the luxury amenities and uh, some of the things from a build quality perspective you think you get with those. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.